Hello and welcome to the PMOD introductory series. In the next few minutes, we will provide a short overview of the PMOD image segmentation tool. Molecular imaging plays an increasingly important role in preclinical research and in the development of new drugs. To this end, the uptake and metabolism of labelled compounds are assessed with dedicated preclinical devices in rodents. In order to perform consistent pharmacokinetic analysis, the relevant organs and lesions have to be accurately segmented in the images. Manual segmentation is subjective, tedious and has a direct impact on the accuracy of the study endpoint. Therefore, computer-aided segmentation approaches are crucial in preclinical research. PMOD's image segmentation tool meets the need for a rapid and accurate segmentation of dynamic rodent pet studies. It applies a patented clustering approach for grouping neighbouring image pixels with similar pharmacokinetics. This process creates a hierarchy of compact tissue segments covering the whole body. Segments on low hierarchy levels are small and kinetically homogeneous. They grow towards higher levels and become kinetically more variable. The user needs to browse through the hierarchy levels and assign labels when a segment corresponds to an entity of interest, such as an organ or lesion. Once all relevant objects have been assigned, their pet uptake curves are readily calculated, with the possibility to correct for the partial volume effect. The following three minute demo will give you a brief impression of the PMOD image segmentation tool. It uses dynamic FDG PET data in a mouse model of breast cancer for the segmentation of tumours and organs and a matched MRI image for anatomical reference. The segmentation is visualised in a 3D scene and finally applied to the PET for the calculation of the uptake curves. Processing starts by loading the dynamic FDG PET series which has been motion corrected in PMOD's fusion tool. The uptake from the end of the perfusion phase until the end of scanning is averaged for later reference. Next, the matched MR images are loaded and fused with the averaged PET. Segmentation will group pixels in the PET image according to pharmacokinetic similarity and neighbourhood. In order to exclude background from this process, a body mask is derived from the PET information. The segmentation algorithm is then configured with minor smoothing and a maximum of 100 distinct segments and started. After a few minutes of calculation, the results are shown on the main segmentation page. The segments appear as distinctly coloured patches. Using a slider, the number of segments in the decomposition can be adjusted. At the level of two segments, the bladder appears against the background. The heart appears next, followed by some other segments of interest, in this case the two kidneys, a tumour and subsequently another tumour. The segments are shown as an overlay to the MRI. By changing the fusion blending, the user can closely assess the anatomical correlates of the segments. To optimize the assessment, the MRI reference can also be replaced by the dynamic or averaged PET. Our example includes three tumors, which have increased contrast in the MRI. The segmentation level is gradually increased until a segment corresponds to a tumour. This segment is then labelled and converted into a VOI by simply right-clicking and selecting a label in the customizable lists. One lesion is apparent in the MRI but is not detected by the segmentation. In such a situation, the VOI can be directly defined on the MR image for instance by ISO contouring. After some further assignments, our demo session results in VOI outlines for three tumours, a cystic lesion and seven organs. They can be visualised in a 3D rendering 
to inspect their localization from different angles, together with the MRI. Finally, the VOIs are applied to the dynamic PET series for calculating the average uptake curves. They form the basis for the actual quantitative assessment of tracer uptake in the tumor model and can be directly forwarded to the appropriate pharmacokinetic tool in PMOD. This ends our short introduction to the PMOD image segmentation tool. Trial installations are available to demonstrate the maximum functionality of PMOD and its tools. Please visit our website for more details and for information about other products from PMOD Technologies. Thank you for your attention.